Hello, good evening. My friends, we're going to start the class. And let's check uh, who do we have here. Here we have Ernest. Good evening, Ernest. How are you? Can you hear me, Ernest? Yes. Okay. I can't hear you. Maybe you have difficulties. No problem with your microphone. Well, we're going to check it later. Uh, Maho, good evening. Hi. Good evening. Uh, how are you doing? Good evening, teacher. No? Okay. Yes, Ernest. Thank you. Thank you. Yes, okay. your microphone works. Thanks. Uh, Maho, everything okay? Mm, more than less. More or less. Okay. It's Monday, remember. Mondays are difficult. Yes. Are usually difficult. But okay, let's have good vibes. Uh, Miguel? Hello, Miguel. Good evening, teacher. Good evening. I'm How here. are you? Okay. I'm fine. Okay. All excellent. Okay. I like it. Yeah, I know. It's complicated because it's Monday, but positive attitude. Even if, if we have difficulties, I don't know if Roberto is there. I don't know if Roberto is there. You tell me. Hi, Good Roberto. Evening, Good nice evening. Nice to meet you. Nice to meet you too, my friend. I don't know if you were the one texting in WhatsApp saying that uh, it's going to be busy. No. No. No, no, not you. Okay, thank you. No problem. And what about Freddy? Hi, Freddy. Hello, teacher. Hello. Good evening. Doing? Very, very good. Um, okay. So far, so good. So far, so good. Okay, that's the point. Thank you. Uh, we have Roxana. Are you there, Roxana? Okay, maybe not. Good evening, teacher. Good evening. Yes, Everything okay? Uh, Everything Hello? in order? Yes. Okay, thank you. Mm. Eh, Denise is driving. Tranquila, Denise, ten cuidado porque siento que va girando la cámara. Espero que no va, <ríe> no, no seas tú. Bueno. Sorry, yes, yes, I'm driving. No. Okay, be careful, con cuidado. Just relax. Okay. Eh, thank you, Denise. Eh, Alex, I don't know if Alex is there. Hi, Alex. Um, sorry. Baja el transporte, Alex. Okay. No problem. Uh, Nancy? Hi there, Nancy. Good evening. Good evening. How are you tonight? Fine. Are you okay? Yes? Thanks. Okay. Perfect. Well, um, we're going to start class number 13. And it means that we are... Um, at the middle of the course, because this course uh, has 25 classes, right? And you had seven classes with the previous teacher. And here we have like, what? So let me say this is class number six with me. But we are on class number 13, intermediate one, class number 13, okay? Uh, believe me, now that we are in, at the middle, it means that the rest of the classes are going to be like faster. You're going to notice it. Well, here we have this. Ways to say it's easy. When we say easy, it means facile, right? For example, when you do some of your functions, I mean, you have different functions, maybe three, four, five, or more, maybe 10 things or tasks that you do at your job, right? Some of them are interesting, some of them are boring, some of them are complicated or difficult, but there are some others, maybe one or two, that they are easy. They are very easy. So it means that it is not a complication for you to do it. So uh, you can say it's a piece of cake. It's a walk in the park. It's a cinch. Easy peasy. I like this one. Easy peasy. It's like 
very fluent, very easy to say, easy peasy. Eh, it, it, even it has like a rhythm, tiene como rima. Anyone can do it. Anyone can do it. Or it's easy as one, two, three. Or ABC. Easy as ABC. Or it's easy as one, two, three. I'm going to repeat the phrases. It's a piece of cake. That, that's the most common phrase. But we can say it's a walk in the park. It's a cinch. Easy peasy. Anyone can do it. It's easy as one, two, three. Or it's easy as... A, B, C, okay? As always, I uh, check the attendance list and I need you to um, stay present, good evening or hi, when I call your names, okay? Remember that, I'm just checking something here. part of the attendance list because Oscar Eduardo Melendez Martinez, I never met him or I never knew him. Yeah. The other is mm -hmm. maybe that one. So let's see. Okay, we have birds. Okay. And we're going to start with, well, Alex is driving. Well, he's moving. Uh, Raquel, she's not available. And Vicky, I don't know if Vicky is here. Not yet, okay. What about Brandon? Well, Brandon is usually punctual. He is like one of the first ones to be here connected. Well, Denise, I know is driving. No es necesario que contestes, Denise, relax. Later, when you got home. Uh, Fredis. Hi, Fredis. Hi, teacher. Hello. Okay, my friend. Thank you. Select uh, one. Anyone can do it. Mm -hmm. Anyone can do it. Thank you. Ernest. Hi, there. Hi, teacher. Hello there. It's cake. a piece of cake. cake. It's a piece of cake. Piece. Mm -hmm. Piece of cake. Yes. It is like very common piece phrase. Of... Mm -hmm. This is very famous. Thank you. Uh, what about Luis Eduardo? I don't know if Luis Eduardo Reyes is here. I guess he's like listener, he says. Um, Majo, good evening. Maria Jose. Good evening. Good evening. Uh, easy peasy. Easy peasy. Yeah, that's it. Well, Maritza is like having some paperwork, she told me. Hi, Maritza. Good, good evening, teacher. Good uh, evening. Present, it's a piece of cake. Thank you for answering. Uh, Miguel, in your case. Miguel Marroquín. Hi there. Not by the moment. Okay. Morelia. Uh, I guess Morelia has some difficulties. We go with uh, Nancy. Hi, Nancy. Richard here. Okay. Thank you, Morelia. And I know that you are kind of busy now. Okay, Miguel. Thank you. Yes, I have it here. Teacher, okay. it's a walk in the park. It's a walk in the park. Very one. Very good. Thank you. Yeah, that's the one. Thank you. Uh, Robert, in your case. Good evening, teacher. Good evening. It's a walk in the park. Yeah, perfect. 
Hi, Nancy. Good evening. Are you there? Te me escondes, yeah. Nancy. Hi, there. One, two, three. Mm -hmm. It says one, two, three. Thank you. And Roxana, hi there. Hi, teacher. Hello. Anyone can do it. Anyone can do it. Okay. Remember that from the phrases that I present you, it is like you have to pick one or two. Depends on you, right? I recommend you to try to memorize one at least. So when the moment comes in a conversation, you can use it. And uh, you're going to look really nice, right? Because your English is, is like, it is not boring English. English no va a ser aburrido porque va a tener varias frases. Okay, let's move with this one. Um, maybe on Friday or on, on Thursday, we were talking about the funniest moment, right? The moment when you were happy or something, yeah, interesting, funny. But now here we have what is the saddest moment in your life. I consider that it is good and, and healthy when you express uh, difficult moments that you have experienced in your life. It is not that easy, but when you can talk about a sad situation or moments in your life, it means that you have overcome. Que ya lo superaron. It means that you overcome, uh, you have overcome that difficulty, that uh, impacting moment that you have. Okay, and we can have a variety of examples. And even I know people that they have had like a uh, hard situation when uh, an important person passes away. Cuando alguien pasa mejor vida, for example. Or when you lose money, okay? Or when you have a divorce, when you had a difficult illness, uh, finances, problems, emotional problems, uh, family difficulties, a lot of examples, okay? Or it can be when your pet passes away, cuando su mascota fallece, some people, have a, a strong connection with pets, with animals. So they are like part of their family. And when a, a pet uh, passes away or a, a pet dies, it is like a very, a very impact um, or a very impact that you have had in your life. Okay. We're going to text here in the chat as always. And then we're going to check the pronunciation, the words, the, the ideas or phrases. And I guess that uh, it is good for us as a group to know each other's experiences, okay? I'm going to be waiting for your answers. What is the saddest moment in your life? ¿Cuál es el momento más triste? Okay, so I'm going to be waiting for your answers. And then we go one by one.
Okay. Let's see here. Uh, we have like um, different, but different uh, experiences. And even if the same aspect or the same moment impacts every one of you, you're going to take it like in different way because your emotions, uh, your personality, your attitude, that moment in your life, maybe it is not balanced. So you can perceive it in different forms. We're going to check Majo. And then we go with, I'm sorry, let's see, yes, Majo, but... Maho and then Albert, if possible. If not, we go with Robert. Okay, Maho, please. Okay, one of the my saddest moments was the death of my dog six years ago mm -hmm. because I tried to sa to save his life and it was impossible. The day that he died, he waited for me that it was home to see each other for the last time. After that, he died hours later. It okay. was quite painful. And he was 10 years old with me. He was attacked to another dog. Okay, he was attacked by another dog. By right? another dog. A, a, another dog, yes, attacked him. Yes. Well, I'm so sorry to, to, to hear that, Maho. Um, I'm, I'm very sure that there are some pets, and specifically dogs, that they are like, I don't know, like your kids. Or yes. like your friend, because 10 years, it means that you have experience different a lot of christmas a lot of birthdays right uh, yes. yeah uh, a lot of time together so yes i i suffered the same well some situation that was similar and sometimes you can be sad after your dog dies you can be like three days one week depressed right or, or more right yes. i don't know yeah i don't know it is difficult uh, to overcome that yes it is like this so uh it was like um six years ago right well what yes. was the name of, of your your pet uh, his name was tigre maximus emiliano escobar portillo <laughs> wow okay did it's he have a, a nickname <laughs> okay tigre. okay tigre, tigre. Well, Tigre is uh, in heaven watching you. Yes. yes. Okay, yeah. A good yes. friend passed away. So you have that memory so you can tell to anyone. And believe me, there is one dog or one pet that is it is like different from the others. You can yes. have some other pets, right? But one is like very, but very special. So that yes, was... that's right. Thank you, Majo. Thank you for Thank sharing. You. Uh, you're welcome. Uh, Alberto... I guess you are to have difficulties with the with the internet, right? Well, if not, we we can talk later, right? Robert, um, and then Freddy's. Okay, Robert. Okay, teacher. Hmm? Uh, I don't like to talk about of my sudden moments of yes. my life, I but I have yep. to do with the death of my father. I was a child, and it was the saddest moment I remember. Okay. How old were you when he passed away? Uh, like 10 years old? You were 8 years old? Because you were a kid, right? Or more, 15? 18 years old. 18 years old, yes. And uh, when you are uh, young, you need that figure, paternal figure. Yes. Yeah, of course. Oh, unfortunately, uh, did he have uh, uh, an illness? He was, was he sick? No, it no, was an, an accident. accident. Oh, okay. Yes, an accident. Okay. I'm so sorry to hear that, but well, even if we are adults, we always miss our parents or grandparents, right? It is like this. Thank you for sharing, Robert. I know it is kind of complicated. And well, I know that your father is in heaven. Well, watching you to have success. 
Thank you, Robert. We go now with Freddy's. Okay, Freddy's, you go. Okay. Uh, my mother happened 15 years ago. It was very sad. Only that. Mm, okay, okay. Uh, well, uh, 15 years ago, yeah, not easy, right? Even uh, 15 years ago, but it means that, well, very difficult. Mm. Do you have brothers or sisters? Do you have siblings? Yeah, it's four sisters and mm -hmm. three sisters and one uh, woman. Okay. One woman. What number of son are you? You are the number three, number well. I yes. number two. Two. Oh, okay. So there is there was responsibility on you, right? Yeah. Because you were one of the elders. So yes, I can imagine. But I'm so sorry. Okay. Well, uh, it, it happens sometimes. Okay. I'm pretty sure that your mother is proud of you, my friend. Thank you for sharing, Freddy's. Uh, we go now with Roxana, okay? My sadness moment in my life was the death, the death of my grandmother. Okay. She died five years ago. Okay, she died five years ago. Well, how yes. old was she? Like 70 something, 80 mm -hmm. something, 85 years old. 85. Well, uh, she lived a lot of years, but maybe a yes. couple of years more, right? Roxy, could be nice, yes, like two, could two be. or three years. <laughs> yes, like to, yes. to have more uh, conversations and uh, share moments. But well, grandmas are always uh, important in our lives, okay? Yes, uh, yes. Was she paternal or maternal grandmother? Paternal. Paternal. Well, very special. Yes. You're right. Very, Thank very you. special. Thank you, okay. Roxy. Well, gran the grannies, okay, grandmas are always like uh, angels, right? Yes. Thank you. Okay. okay. Um, Maritza, I don't know if you are available to share. Then we go with Ernest because I know that Marisa has some complications with her job she's kind of busy if you can Maritza let me know okay if not we're going yes, to teacher. okay please Maritza thank you okay good evening um my history is similar to Maho I think so uh well my sadness moment was one year ago it was when my dog died I still remember the sh the sh that she could no longer walk because she was very old. I remember that my boyfriend and I buried in the in the garden. In that moment, I cried a lot, and I still miss her. Okay, that's it. Well, in that case, what was the name of your of your dog? Her name. Her name was Ginger. Oh, okay. I'm so sorry for Ginger. And well, it is like recent, right? I know that you still miss her, right? You still miss her. Okay. Thank you, Maritza. Thank you for sharing. Well, uh, pets, I always, I always consider that pets are in heaven or pets. They have a special like place to be there like angels. Okay. Thank you, Maritza. The pets are part of family. Yes. And especially because they, they share time with you and they appear in photographs. Right, Maho? <laughs> they appear in photographs and all those things. So you remember with a I lot have of, a lot of photos on my Instagram I, of my dogs. <laughs> I really, yes, I can yes. imagine. So, yes, it is like this. Well, but it was really good for them for you because you were nice with with your pets 
there are a lot of pets that they are living on the streets or their their protector they supposed to be protector their owners they don't feel them if they are sick they don't they they care so yes they were very but very lucky thank you um for for your for your sharing your experience uh marisa we go with miguel and then we go with Morelia, if she can. Okay, Miguel, you go. Okay. Uh, the saddest moment was when my father died, and I couldn't that he had died. But I remember when he told me, never stay behind because life doesn't stop. Um, if you want to give me something or tell me something, today is the time. I'm not when I am in the grave of Tom because I won't be able to hear you. That's it? Yes, yes. I, 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 I agree. I agree with him. Yes. So it is come, you never, you're never going to be ready to say goodbye to a person to a special person in this world, right? But well, uh, good advice. Never stay behind, okay? So go ahead. Even you have yeah. difficult moments, go ahead. That was part of his teaching advice. So yeah, very nice. Well, a uh, good person. I can imagine your father was a very strong man, right? I can imagine. Okay, so good. Good for you. Thank you for sharing, Miguel. Uh, as always say, I, I consider that people who passes away, person, a person who passes away, but if he or she was a good person, I guess, in somehow uh, his or her energy is with us. Thank you. We go with Morelia. I don't know, Morelia, if you can participate. If not, we go with Nancy. Tell me. Okay, maybe we'll go with Nancy. And we finish this oh. round. Okay. Uh, yes, the Nancy. The third time of my life was when my grandmother, um, my dad died. Okay. Fifteen years ago. She died from a kidney infection. infection. Okay, kidney uh, problems are very hard and difficult process. This, uh, it is yeah. really painful. Mm -hmm. So I can imagine your grandmother was a strong woman, but she, she suffered, right? Because that that is something complicated. The all the all uh, illnesses or pains related to kidney. But, well, imagine um, 13 years ago and you still miss her, right? I won't explain you. So imagine how important was your grandma in your life. Definitely she's in heaven, right? Waiting all of the people that we loved and if they were good people, definitely they are watching. Uh, thank you for sharing. I know it is not easy to talk about uh, saddest moments, but... Uh, it is necessary to express some things. And if you are able to express difficult times, it means that it is something positive and you now have recovered from that uh, suffering moment. Well, some other ways to say die is pass away or kick the bucket. But kick the bucket, it's more informal. It's como patear la cubeta. That is a euphemism, but it is more informal. I prefer pass away. This is kind of formal, and it is another form to say die. But when you say, in the past, my mother passed away the last year, or my father passed away two years ago, it's in the past. It's an irregular verb, okay? Passed, passed away. But in, in, in present, you pass. If it is third person, passes away. Okay, we continue because we have some other activities. Thank you. And we move now to uh, this short conversation that is about this phrase that um, 
from Friday, I wanted to talk to you. It would be better. It would be better. Okay. Um, here we have a conversation between Sarah and Walter. They say, we need to create the main steps to include the manual to train our staff. What do you propose? Okay, two lines and it is one, one idea. We need to create the main steps to include the manual to, to train our staff. Okay, what do you propose? Propose. First, servers need to know the correct way to present the menu. Okay, look at this. There is a pause. First, servers need to know the correct way to present the menu. Sonia, wouldn't it be better if chapter one is about how servers should greet the customers? And after that, how they need to present the menu? Actually, it would be better if we include the servers, dress, code, and in appearance in the first chat. I want to um, point something. Quiero remarcar algo. Si se escucha o se cortó. It is like. Eh, es como inestable. Se escuchó bien, teacher. Okay, thank you. Thank you. Voy a hacer unas. Uh, I'm going to remark the pauses. Hay pausas para que no sientan. For you uh, to, to have like the difference. Uh, okay. Aquí está este punto. Es importante. This comma is very important. Uh, would it, uh, wouldn't it be better if chapter one is about how servers should greet the customers? Aquí hay otra pausa. There is no comma. Ahí no hay una coma, pero hay una pausa. Uh, why I am pointing the pauses or the commas or the periods because remember if you talk with pauses if you use the rhythm to express you're going to sound naturally but if you do like uh, say I'm um, round noun sentences round noun sentences cuando ustedes van <laughs> directo planos okay so dice necesitamos crear los pasos principales para incluirlo en el manual para capacitar nuestro equipo. ¿Qué propones? Primero, este, los, podría ser, pues, los meseros necesitan saber la, la manera correcta de presentar el menú. Y dice Sonia, ¿no sería mejor si en el capítulo 1 es acerca de eh, cómo los meseros deberían saludar a los clientes? Y después, de, y después de eso, como ellos deberían de presentar el menú, actually, realmente sería mejor si incluimos el código de vestimenta de los meseros y la apariencia en el primer capítulo. Okay. We need to create the main steps to include the manual to train our staff. What do you propose? First, Servers need to know the correct way to present the menu. Wouldn't it be better if chapter one is about how servers should greet the customers? And after that, how they need to present the menu? Even here we can make another pause. Actually, it would be better if we include the server's dress code in appearance in the first chapter. Okay, it is important this. So, would it, uh, it would be better is the phrase, the most important phrase because we're going to use it. It would be better if, it means, sería mejor si, and this is especially when you want to give your opinion about something and it happens when you are in a meeting with your team or with your supervisor manager and you give an opinion. But we have another that it's a question. Wouldn't it be better? No sería mejor si 
So it's different because this is a question and this is an affirmation, okay? And we're going to practice the pronunciation of these words if you have some difficulties or doubt about the pronunciation of any word, please let me know. I will need you to please uh, send this screenshot. We're going to, well, I'm going to create the teams. So we can have We can have like the conversation to practice it. Just give me a moment because some of you are listeners. So in the case of listeners, it is kind of complicated to practice. So I'm moving some of them. Let me check here. Just give me a second. Okay, my friends, um, see you in a moment. Remember, respect the pauses and correct pronunciation. There are some affirmations, some other questions. Please uh, focus on that. See you in a couple of minutes. Please accept the request.
Hi, Denise. Everything okay? Hi, teacher. Yes, I'm. I'm here. I'm available now. Okay, perfect. Are you at home now? No, I'm moving. No worries. No, I'm home. I am in home. Okay, perfect. I'm going to send you to another team. Okay, let me check okay. here. Thank you. Anytime.
let's practice a little bit <clears throat> about this conversation that even it is short, it is a short conversation, but it is kind of tricky because of the pauses, because of some accents in the in the conversations or affirmations. So um, let's listen to some of you. I'm going to listen to most of the teams, okay? We're going to start this case with Fredis and Roxana. Then we go with the others, okay? Fredis, are you ready? Okay. Ready. Perfect. Let's do it. Roxana. Okay. We need to create the main steps to include in the manual to train our staff. What do you propose? The field server needs to know the correct way to present the menu. Wouldn't it be better if chapter one is about how servers should rate the customers and after that, how they need to present the menu? Actually, it would be better if we include the server dress code and appearance in the first chapter. Okay, very nice. Thank you. Well yes. done, my friend. Okay. Just one okay. one detail. It would be better, please. It would be better. But you did it nice. It Thank better. You. Okay. I know it is kind of tricky. Como medio tramposita esta conversación. Thanks, uh, my <laughs> friends. Then we go with okay. Denise and Miguel. I don't know if Albert is available. If not, we go with Denise and Miguel. Can you? Okay. I'm ready. Perfect. Okay. Denise, um, the okay. Okay. We need to create the main steps to include in the manual to train our staff. What did you propose? First, servers needed to know the correct way to present the menu. Wouldn't it be better if chapter one is about how servers should greet the customers and after that, how they need to present the menu? Actually, it will be better if we include the service dress code and appearance in the first chapter. Well done, my friends. Well done. Thank you. Yes, you sound Thank like... You, teacher. Yes? Tell me. Okay. Let's move now with Ernest and Robert. Okay. We need, to create, we need to create the main step to include in the manual to, to train our staff. What do you propose? I guess we can hear you, Ernest. Pueden escucharlo. Can you hear the, him? No, right. I can hear. Creo que estás hablando con tu conciencia, my friend. Check uh, the microphone. Sometimes it fails. Sometimes it's Zoom. Hello, hello. Yeah. One, two, three. Okay, <laughs> one, two, three. Yes. Okay. Peers servers need to know the correct way to present the menu. Wouldn't it be better if chapter one is about how servers should greet the customer and after that how they need to present the menu? Actually, it would be better if we include the service dress code and appearance in the first chapter. Thank you. Yes. Appearance. 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 Thank you. Thank you. Appearance. Appearance. Thank you, Ernest and Robert. Well done. Okay, Majo and Nancy, are you ready? We're about to finish. Yes. Mm -hmm. Please. Okay. Uh, we need to create the main steps to include in the manual to train our staff. What do you propose? First, servers need to know the correct way to present the menu. The menu. Wouldn't it be better if chapter if chapter one is about how servers should greet the customers, and after that, how they need to present the menu? Actually, it will be better if we include the service, the rest code and appearance in the first chapter. That's it. Thank you. In appearance in the first chapter. Yes. 
Thank you. And I don't know if we have Morelia and Brandon. I don't know if you could practice because both of you are listeners. Um, if not, we can continue. You tell me because you are kind of busy. Okay. If not, we move to another app. Uh, at the end of the class, we're going to have an activity related to it would be better in which you're going to give like advice or suggestions or proposals to improve your company. I know that you have perceived, you have seen some things in the company and you say, mm, it would be better if, okay? So they can do it in different way. They can get the product in different way. They can plan differently or they can get the materials or the development, different things, okay? So we're going to do that at the end, but by now we have a reading exercise. In this reading, it is this text. I'm going to divide this so every one of you can participate, but here we have, look, 10 questions. These 10 questions uh, have to be completed by using the paragraph before this one, this paragraph, okay? So let's see, um, I'm going to, as always, I'm going to mark, I'm going to mark by lines. Just take a look. Solo den una revisada. Ya les marco, les digo quienes comienzan. Okay, we're going to start. We're going to start with Ernest and then Maho. Okay, Ernest, you start. My working day. My working days, my working day starts very early. From Monday to Friday, I get up at half past three and I have a shower and cup of coffee. Thank you. Maho. I usually, okay, I usually, yes? Please. <laughs> okay, I usually leave the house at them past before because the car always arrives a few minutes early. I get to a studio at about five o'clock and start to work. Thank you. We go with Robert and then Denise. Robert, my programming. Good morning, Britain. My, my program. program. Good morning. Good morning, Braiding. Start at seven o'clock and finished at the nine o'clock. Then I have the studio at a quarter past ten. After that, I go shopping and I visit some friends. Thank you. We go with Denise and then Freddy. Denise, I get home. Okay. I get home at three o'clock. A woman helps me with the the housework and the, the ironing. The ironing. I read a newspaper and do some work. Thank you. Okay, let's move. Roxana, are you there? Yes, teacher. Okay. Uh, then my husband. Then, okay. Then my husband gets home at half past five in the evening and I cook dinner. We stay at home in the evening. Thank you. Fred is your turn. We don't go out. We don't go out because I go to bed very early. We usually watch television and then I go to bed at half past eight 
I am usually asleep by nine o'clock. Thank you. And Miguel, could you help me with the two lines at weekends? At weekends, I don't get up until 10 o'clock. In the evening, we often see some friends or go to the cinema, but I'm always up early again on Monday morning. Thank you. So here we have like the descriptions of routines, right, about this person. And uh, I'm going to present you some the questions, and then we're going to compare with this text. Okay. Number one, what time does Cynthia get up during the week? What time does Cynthia get up during the week? Okay, let's see. Cynthia. Mm -hmm. Cynthia. At half past three or Yeah. Here we have the first line. I get up at half past three. Thank you. Let's move. Uh, here we have the other two. How does Cynthia get to the studio in the morning? How does Cynthia get to the studio in the morning? Okay. Ten past four. At, by at by ten. Okay. By but it says how in does in a Cynthia... car? In a car, yeah. como llega? Because the car always arrives a few minutes early. Okay, so mm -hmm. yeah, in a car. Thank you. Number three. Here we have, and it says, "What time?" I see. Vamos con la hora. What time does she arrive at the studio? Okay. Miguel, Five you were saying. Five o'clock. Five o'clock. Five o'clock. Thank you. Here we have line number three, right? Five o'clock. Okay. Let's move on uh, now. Here we have four. Uh, what time does the TV show begin? What time does the TV show begin? At seven o'clock. Mm -hmm. Seven o'clock. One, two, three, four. Line number four. Seven o'clock. Thank you. Um, five. How long does Good Morning Britain last? How long does Good Morning Britain last? Okay. It starts at at, at seven and finishes at nine. So how long does this at show? Nine o'clock. Okay, yeah. It starts two hours. At, at, yeah, two hours is the answer because it starts at seven and finishes at nine. So this program is for two hours. Let's move. Um, last significa último, pero también significa durar. Okay. So how long does Good Morning Britain last? Okay. Como last name or last year, pero en este caso es durar. Six. What time does Cynthia get home after finishing the studio? What time does Cynthia get home? Three o'clock. I'm sorry? Three o'clock. Yeah, good, Roxana. Or you pay attention or you have a screenshot, but good, thank you. Um, Seven, what time does her husband arrive home? Her husband. At half past five. Mm -hmm. Yeah, half past five. In this case, half, uh, you can say half. Sin la L, bien rara esta palabra. Otra silent letter. Pinchard, a lot of silent letters. Yes, I know, my friends. Half past seven. Past five, past seven. Okay, um... Eight, do Cynthia and her husband go out in the evening? Do they go out in the evening? Let's see. Do they go out of their house? Stay at home? Yeah, they stay at home. No. 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 No, they don't go because out. They go to the bed 
early. Mm -hmm. Well, especially the girl, especially Cynthia. Or maybe they don't yeah. have money. I don't know. We don't know. Well, let's see. Um, Nine. What time does Cynthia go to bed? I guess. Mm -hmm. 9 o'clock. Almost. 9 o'clock. Yes, right. I'm usually asleep I, by 9 o'clock. Yes, but she goes to bed. Mm -hmm. Okay. She goes with the, her pajamas and she already clean her, her teeth. Her tooth, but yeah. Half past 8. Then. Does Cynthia stay in bed longer at the weekend? Does Cynthia stay in bed longer at the weekend? Uh, sorry. I'm going to repeat the question. Does Cynthia stay in bed longer at the weekend? No. Hmm? When stay when they say still yes. longer is they stay in the bed, on the bed. I'm yes. sorry. Mm -hmm. So yes. yes, yes. I don't get up until ten o'clock, and mm -hmm. 10 usually they get up gets up at half past. And I'm sorry, what? They should get up at huh? Five o'clock. Yeah, imagine. So ten o'clock is different in the evening. We often see some friends and some. Thank you, guys. And we're going to complete some other. Let's see. Oh, wow. Here we have Morelia. I guess we have a song for tonight, right, Morelia? And you couldn't present it on Friday. And I don't know if you can do it. Or Miguel. Hello. Uh, Morelia, are you in charge of the song? Yes, I am. Can you present But I don't it? know if I can. Yes, I can, but I I don't know if I can share the, the screen. Of course, you can. Uh, let's try. Are you connected uh, by using the cell phone, tablet, or PC? My cell phone. Okay. In um, the... I will... There is a I green try. bottom. Mm -hmm. There is a green, a green color bottom. Yeah. May you may you see it? Yeah, we can. Yes. Okay. Yes. Mm -hmm. The song say, "I know your eyes in the morning sun. I feel you touch me and the pouring rain, and the moment that you." Wonder far for me. I want to feel you in my arms again. Mm -hmm. BGs. Yeah. How deep is your love? How deep is your yeah, love? Yeah, definitely. How deep it, is your love? Yeah. Are you in love, Morelia, or something like that? No. I'm always in love. Oh, that's, that, that's of perfect. The light. <laughs> ah, of course, of course. Well, <laughs> this song is yeah. the, one of the, the most beautiful songs that I have heard, that I've ever heard it is a poem it is yeah well thank you Marily yes, yes it's, it's how really deep beautiful. is your love of course okay yes. tell, tell us about the words uh, subject pronoun I don't know if it's correct if John please tell me uh, subject pronoun I am you possessive adjectives your and my object pronoun me, verb, mm -hmm. no, feel, touch, wonder, and wanna. Yeah, that's it. Demonstrative adjective, that, and mm -hmm. adverbs of place, per, per. Mm -hmm. preposition of place in, articles, the, and connectors, and. Thank you. Well done, Morelia. Very nice. If you notice, four lines short paragraph and even all of this song is so nice and you can learn a lot by sing, singing this song thank you morelia 
the girl in love. Okay. <laughs> well, and for tomorrow's, we're going to have Miguel is your, well, no, I'm sorry, Nancy. Here we have Nancy. Are you there, Nancy? Hi. Yes. Mm -hmm. um, ya has, has um, notado cómo se desarrolla esta actividad, Nancy, de la, lo de la canción. No. No, no, Hola. No, no. ¿Me escucha? Oh. Hola, sí me escuchas. ¿Sí? Sí. sí. Ok, si ¿Sí has visto cómo se ha presentado la canción. No. Porque... no. No. Bueno, te vamos a dejar para después a ti, pero necesitamos que veas. El objetivo de eso, y lo digo en español, para que no quede duda, presentar un, un, ¿qué? un extracto de la canción que sea corto. Y eh, si te diste cuenta, en, en este caso Morelia había coloreado algunas palabras y después las había sacado en un cuadro. Puedes hacerlo de cualquier manera. El punto en esto es que nosotros podamos estudiar la gramática a través de las letras de las canciones. No es necesario que cantes, no podemos reproducir música por los derechos, por los copyrights, ¿verdad? De, de este video. Y eh, pues te tocaría después. Voy a poner a Miguel y después te dejo a ti, ¿ok? Okay. Miguel, can you present your song for tomorrow? Uh, for tomorrow, yes, teacher. Right in uh, this moment, uh, I have a problem for this. <laughs> I'm sorry. Okay, no problem, no problem. But for tomorrow, yes, please. Yes, yes. Thank you, Miguel. So prepare your okay. song. In if you have any questions, you can uh, send me some messages. I'm going to be there. Okay, my friends. Thank okay. you. Thank you, teacher. Okay. Thanks, Morelia. Very nice. Se me hace que se la dedicaron a Morelia alguna vez. Well, that's life. We're going to do some parry work. Okay, come on. Uh, well, not. Mainly, we're going to, before we go to this, we're going to go to the speaking activity. Feel a paranormal experience. Okay, what are we going to do here? I needed to text to share opinions. Maybe some of you may say, teacher, I don't believe in these things. Honestly, I consider ghosts and some of these things are lies. Okay, no problem. We are not saying that this is true. We are just commenting paranormal experiences. They are true or they are false. That's another thing. We are just uh, uh, sharing this, okay? Please text if this happened to you or, or maybe some friend, some family member, some neighbor, okay? So it happens that you have, there are stories, okay? stories okay i'm going to be waiting for your answers here in the chat and then we uh, read them all
Okay, um, here we have the first ones. Mm -hmm. Maho, you're the first one. I don't know why. I Maybe, Maho, you have a couple of stories. I don't know why. Okay. Yes, I have a lot of stories. <laughs> <laughs> Tell us one, just one, okay? Okay. A few months ago, I was coming to my home. There was no light. So the street was very dark. It was approximately 10 at night. In the middle of the street, there was a large white dog <laughs> that was not moving. And I was afraid to pass be by because the dog was very imposing. And mm -hmm. later, uh, under an amate tree, really an amate. <laughs> Okay. I found another black dog just just as big as the previous one. I drove as fast as I could, even with my eyes closed. And when I was able to enter to my home or my house, I started to smell strange things. I, uh, I smell like Ruda. <laughs> that day I slept with the light on. Okay. <laughs> That's um... Do you think that were they the cadejos or something like that or what? I don't know. Spirit? I don't know. I think I think I don't believe in that, but this yeah. okay. this make me make me believe. <laughs> yeah, because there's an experience. It is not yes. a story that you hear. It is something that you see or you perceive. What about yes. the, the smell of Ruda, as you said? It is. Do you have um, plants of Ruda in, near yes. your house? I have a garden in my house, but it don't... How do you say sembrar? Plants. Sembrar? Mm -hmm. Plants, but there isn't Ruda. There isn't Ruda. Mm -hmm. there, there is another herbs. Okay. Uh -huh. Well. But um, very creepy as, and as, weird. Yeah, uh, it is kind of creepy, as you say. It is like imposing. So you don't feel like a dog because you, you can find some cats and dogs and you say, okay, animals, but they have like strange energy and you perceive yes. that. So it is like, yeah, and especially at night. But A normal, yes, a normal dog, usually, usually when you are driving, they move when the mm -hmm. cars come, but mm -hmm. the, this dog don't move. Stay firm. Yes. Okay, and it is that well, especially at night, and because in the yeah. in, during the day, it's like differently. But okay, so wow, it is like a story of Maho. Maybe some other day can tell us some other. Okay, but it is Thank that you. that happened to you. It is not a story yes. that from your family happened to you. Yes. Okay. Thank you, Maho and the Cadejo, but not the beard the animal okay we go now with uh, albert can you uh, say your your story okay mm, albert says when my partner is asleep she sometimes says that they shake or somebody not they because they a lot of people that somebody shakes her bed but only when she's alone shake is mover well could it be really really hard this it is like when you listen a la cobija it is something like that that it happened when you are alone well let's continue with brandon brandon can you <coughs> Yours? Yes. 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 Okay. Um, uh, one time uh, when I was doing homework, it was around 12 middle, middle night. I saw a shadow be behind me, and when I wanted to speak, I couldn't, and my legs felt very heavy. Heavy. I didn't sleep in my room for two weeks. Okay. Do you feel that you were like very tense? Your body was like tense. You couldn't move, right? Okay. Yes. 
could you say something or do you consider you were like like inside like mute i try speaking but i i, I you, don't care you couldn't mm -hmm. i had to go mm -hmm. i couldn't okay yeah so it this happened in your house yes in my okay it's okay. in my okay. in my room mm -hmm. It is like, I have seen some dark shadows. Uh, well, shadows are dark, but I mean, you felt that like if somebody is there. So yeah, you feel that energy. Thank you, Brandon. Okay, we have two, well, three with uh, Albert, but it is a friend of Albert. Uh, Fredis? Okay, I... I think one we were camping on the Ilamatic Peak volcano. Mm -hmm. I night we felt a strange presence, but I think it was the wind. We we get very scared. I convinced we're not alone. Okay, some uh, it is very common when you go camping. Um. When I went to the Pital, I saw a person. Uh, well, when you go to the Pital um, mountain, you go with your sleeping bag, your backpack, your boots, right? I guess Maho likes to go camping or, or well, like, yes, like hiking. And I saw a girl uh, using high heels con tacones. And she <laughs> was very, but she was very... Well, she had a lot of makeup. She was really nice. She looked attractive, but there there were a lot of mood and we were like difficulty walking and she was very relaxed. And we thought, what happened here? Neloa, Sally, todos caminando y ella conta con el camino. What is this? Is this a real person? Like, muy... she looked like a secretary. She looked like a secretary imagine in that part the difficult uh path or way well so in your case you consider that you were not alone and not could, alone. You sleep? could you sleep could you under me or you were like uh, checking if the person was there uh, no no sleep i check that every night Okay. So well, not. You, you, okay, you were like this, like sentinels. Yes. Well, yeah, sometimes you, uh, you go camping with the idea of sleeping, but the, sometimes it is like difficult to sleep if you feel that. Thank you, Fredis. Fredis okay. and the spirits of Volcano. Okay, Volcano. Volcano Ilamatepec. Mm -hmm. Okay. I have never gone there, but people say that it is really nice. It has like a nice landscape. Dice que tiene una vista bonita. People say that, right? Maho, you, have you gone there? Okay. Yes, you can yeah. see the um, Coate, Coatepec, Coatepec Lake. Lake. Okay. Yes. Mm. Okay, but people say that it is kind of, you have to walk upwards. And it is like two difficult. Hours and two hours, yes, it's kind of difficult. Yes. Okay. In front Maybe. of the volcano is sorry, is psycho volcanoes too. Ah, there is another. Yes. Yeah. Wow. Beautiful. Maybe one day I can go there. Thank you. Well, Albert continues with the story of the supernovela. Well, all the days when I have to work at night, she knows I'm alone. Okay. Okay. <laughs> Um, Miguel and then Ernest. Okay, Miguel, you go. Okay. Uh, something paranormal that happened to me was when I was 10 years old. When I went out to drink water at midnight and, and returned to my room and I saw a woman in the window looking at me and it scared, it scared me so much that I closed my eyes until down and until daily from now. I don't know what happened. For mm -hmm. me, it's rarely 
Okay, okay, Miguel. Um, when we are young or when we are a kid, we don't want to go to drink water or go to the bathroom at night. We prefer to stay in bed, but in the case you go out, yeah, sometimes you have like the risk of watching this. And I can imagine watching this or perceiving, yeah, very traumatic. Thank you, Miguel. Yes. Miguel and the woman in, in white or no? Just windows. a woman. The window, right? Okay. Yeah. In the windows. Oh. Complicated. <laughs> Ernest and then Morelia. Hello. Hello. Hmm? One day yes. in my workplace, I I was closed up the facilities. When I went to close the last door, I felt like if someone stopped me, stops me and pull the door to open. When I look for anyone, there's no one anybody. So you were alone and you were closing and you feel like another person pulls. Right? Yes, I, I was alone. Okay. Yes. Wow. Yeah. In, in, like in, that. Did, did you feel and like when, when I open? Yep. Yeah. When I when I open to to to, to look, uh, if yes, no, no one, no nobody no one. here. Okay. Okay. Did you did you feel like force, like a person? It is it is like with a strong person. Okay. You see, um, and the 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 pressure. La, la presión que, que, yes. que sentí cuando, yes, eh, era como a la altura si hubiera una persona, o sea, como si alguien yeah. pusiera la it mano. Is not, it is not down, but like in front of you, like, yes, okay, yes. yeah, yeah, it is not the air, <laughs> because sometimes it is like the air, like this, but no, it is like no. a lot of force. Thank you, Ernest. Sure. Okay, uh, Morelia, can you? Can you participate? Yes, I can. You are in dark, in, in black. Okay, you are with the custom. Okay, Morelia, please. Okay, years um, ago. some years ago. Do you listen to me? Yeah. 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 Some years ago at town, I got up uh, to the bathroom and saw in the yard. My mother dressed in the Amaka down some trees. At the morning in that place didn't have had any Amaka and my mother was sleeping in her room. Okay. She, that person was supposed to be your mother, but what she wasn't your mother. Or no? The the dark was exactly like my mother. Mm -hmm. See, the shape sometimes uh rest in the hamaca yeah yes the shape mm -hmm. it, it was exactly like my mother mm -hmm. okay. she rest in the hamaca and meser mm -hmm. shake mm -hmm. or move mm -hmm. yeah the, she shake uh a little slow oh and yeah. he put her her hand uh back her her, her head, head. And your yeah, mother it, he does the same it thing. Was exactly. Okay. Exactly. In the morning, uh, the the shape was uh, una rama. Hmm? A branch. Yeah. The branch hmm. of the tree. And that's it. And the and, and well, when you went the next day, nothing in there. Wow. It's nothing. Yeah. Well, very strange. It was it, very, very strange. But you were awake. You were like when you were not sleeping. Yes. No, I, I was awake. So for you, it was like normal. Ah, it's my mom. Is there? Mm -hmm. Yes, because my mom really loves uh rest in the maca, but okay. it, it's normal. <laughs> it is normal. But okay. And the, the next morning, I I asked I asked her, and she told me, "You are so crazy. How do you think that I'm going to be in the yard at that at hour? that time? Because, yeah, yeah. It was 
3 a.m. Well, for wow. me, it was normal, but she told me crazy. It is kind of scary. At that moment, you didn't feel like nervous or you didn't feel like scary, right? But they, later, when you discovered that she wasn't your mother, maybe you were thinking, like, what happened here, right? Who did I see? Mm -hmm. Yes. It, it was the second one. The first time was when I was uh, six years ago. But it's other history. It's, it's for another class. <laughs> Thank you, <Yeah>. Morelia. <laughs> Thank you for your You're other welcome. mother's spirit. Thank you. <laughs> and we go with Roxana and then Robert. Okay, Roxana. Okay. And at a friend's house, they scared them, especially his mother. Uh, to his mother, once he saw that there were footprints that went towards his mother's room. Mm -hmm. The fact is that there were no children or dogs in the in his house. Mm -hmm. There was only him and his mother. Okay. His nephew was going to burn in the afternoon and they saw the footprints in the morning. He shared me the photo. I will share you with in the WhatsApp. Okay. But mm -hmm. they uh, ha, has many many times that they were scared. Oh really? Okay, okay. It it was as you say. I'm sorry. I'm sorry. Can you hear me, Roxana? I yes. have difficulties. Okay, and uh, yes. they have powder in their fringing prints, like talcum powder, yes. like a baby, a baby power. Like a powder, baby, yes, right? yes, mm. yes. And they were only he and his mother. Very strange. That that was. Yes. Uh, there's no the, there's no explanation for this. Okay, come on. But curiously, uh, the nephew did you say was going to be born and the nephew was normal he was born normal right the nephew was will born in the afternoon mm. strange and they saw the footprints in the morning mm -hmm. like if it's the spirit strange. of a of a kid or a baby <laughs> was going there around yes. well thank you yes okay. Eso sí, ya me está dando miedo. Thank you. And Robert and Denise. Okay, Robert. Showtime. Okay, continue talking about of baby, babies. <laughs> I remember many years ago when I was an adolescent, a friend and me were walking in the middle of a forest. A baby started crying. It was very strange because there was no one else but us. Then one, then we run and feel that the song was chasing us, and then suddenly it stopped being heard. Okay, well, uh, it is kind of scared, but it wasn't a cat, right? Because there are some cats that when they cry or they make they make a sound similar. It's possible, but we was very scared. Uh, maybe something that was like scary is that the 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 sound was moving right like chasing you uh they the sound was behind you right you are moving and, and the sound was moving as well right so yeah it's like desperate yeah getting desperate okay roberto and yes. babies thank you robert thank you my yeah. friend denise Showtime, Dennis. Okay, okay. Um, I was in my parents' house. There was just me and my two dogs. We were at the living room. My parents have a door between the living room and the dining room. The door is like a plastic door, like a folding door. Mm -hmm. And 
so I was listening to music and suddenly I heard a sound at the door, but it was like an aggressive movement, like you no know, somebody like shaking the door hard. Mm -hmm. And yeah. it was so hard because I heard it even with my headphones. That happens to me in a week and never happen again. But wow. I don't understand what what. Okay, Denise. In during that month or that time, that period of time, I mean that month or two months, did you have an a friend or a relative that passed away? A relative or a friend that died? No. Well, I I remember that my dog my dog died really near between that near day. that time. Okay. Uh -huh. But only my dog. Uh -huh. Okay. No one because, else. Okay, because when a person, uh, when a person like uh dies, people say that. The energy of that that of that person remains on earth and like visits you and I have experienced <laughs> that yeah with my one of my aunts and even my grandma when she passed away there were some figures on the shelf ne next to the books and they like somebody threw them. It is like that, mm -hmm. and maybe we have like that connection. Maybe that was the spirit. So maybe it can happen or not. But it's very strange because if you say like a, if a person was shaking strongly, yes, yeah. it was like like this, like mm -hmm. the door, <laughs> like really... on, like on purpose, right? Yes. Yes. Okay. Very strange. Yes. The good is uh, something uh, good is that it never happened again, just in that week. That's right, oh, only that okay. week. Perfect. Okay, thank you, Denise. Thank you to all of you for sharing your stories. I consider that uh, they are real. <laughs> and maybe we don't believe in these things, but... There are some stories that, or some experiences that we that they are real. Maybe they have an explanation, a scientific explanation, or logic, logical, or common sense. Yeah, but we don't have it, like very clear. Okay, we're going to move to the last activity, and this is something related to this. We're going to do. Pair word, okay. Pair word. It is like this. We're going to discuss about four suggestions. It means two by participants. Let's imagine that Denise and Majo is they are working. So Denise is going to give two suggestions and Majo two suggestions to improve your company by using it will be better if. Let's imagine you have your boss you have the, your supervisor or superior in front of you and you have some recommendation you 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 have seen some things that they can be improved han visto cosas que pueden ser mejoradas que puede, que, que son sugerencias de mucho beneficio para la empresa so you can give that for example in my case i would say it would be Better if um the induction training and last two months. One example. Entonces aquí vamos a tener cuidado si utilizamos la tercera persona. Sería mejor si el, el, el proceso o la capacitación dura dos meses. One example like this. Okay. Um, we're going to work in pairs. Remember, two and two. Take notes and we're going to present and we say goodbye. Okay. So think about, piensen en tus recomendaciones que le daría a sus empresas para mejorar. Ok, utilizando it would be better if, sería mejor si cambiamos esto, si esto es así, 
and so on, okay? I'm going to arrange you, I'm going to give you like six minutes and then we come back, okay, my friends? And now we're going to create the things. Okay, we're going to do it in the same way. Okay, see you in a moment.
Okay, um, this is the last activity and this is going to work like attendance list. So I need you to text in the chat what are your two recommendations or suggestions for your company. I am going to be here. Remember, the person who presents the recommendations, it is like uh, if we have checked the attendance list. So, share your recommendations, ¿verdad? Compartan sus recomendaciones en el chat. And we're going to say goodbye. Okay, my friends? You tell me what do you consider. I'm sorry, I fail here. It would be better. Here you have an example. Okay. Let's see, Alberto says, it would be better if inductions were supervised more frequently. Yeah, good point. Redis, would you read yours, please? Redis, yours. Mm -hmm. Is the process will be better if we apply the just time technique for purchase? Mm -hmm. Thank you, Miguel and Ernest. Okay, Miguel. Are you ready, Miguel? Yes, I'm ready, teacher. I'm ready. Please. It will be better if we the new ones to avoid chorus the most outstanding worker. Perfect. Thank you. Um Ernest and Brandon. Thank you. Okay, Ernest. To attract new customer, I think we call better the first. Okay. Hello? Said, okay. Uh, maybe could it be, it would be better to change the prices for the customers. Okay, remember, it would be better. Okay, we go with Brandon and Robert. It would be better if they have training to everyone and not just some. Perfect. Robert and Nancy. It would be better if the teacher received an induction about how interview to the parents. Very interesting point, Robert. Thank you. But it, it is receives if the teacher receives. But nice idea. I like it. Uh, Nancy and Morelia. It will be better if you do digital marketing. Okay, digital marketing. Okay, Nancy, hoy te quedas este, después de la clase, okay? Vamos a tener la sesión personal, please. Okay, Nancy. Okay. Thank you. Morelia and Roxana. Okay, Morelia. It could be better if the grooming team have courses to improve their technique and give more confidence to do it. Mm -hmm. Nice, sounds nice. Thank you. Roxana, please. It would be better if all my partners take the class of English and not only a few of us. Okay, yes. Good, good recommendation. Okay, Denise, I don't know if you have yours because we're going to say goodbye. If not, you can read it. Yes, I have it. Mm -hmm. Okay, it would be better to have team meetings out of work to know each other because in my case, for the, because of the pandemic, there is a lot of new employees and we have to improve the living together. 
Okay. And the second one, it would be better to have an on own desk because for now we have to change desks every time we go to the office. Okay. Yes, very practical recommendations. Thank you, Denise. Okay, my friends. See you tomorrow. I'm going to uh, be with um Nancy because the time it's um gone. Okay, my friends. So see you tomorrow. Have a good night. Bye bye. Good night, everybody. Have a good, good night, night, guys. Good night, everybody. Good night. Good night. Good night. Take care. Take care. Ok, um, Nancy, no sé si me puedes escuchar, tal vez puedas activar la cámara. Creo que te he escuchado un tanto lejos. No sé si es la, el internet o la plataforma, tú me dices. Son los audífonos. Son los audífonos, ok. Uh -huh. Bien, um, ¿qué tal? Cuéntame, um, ¿has tenido horarios irregulares últimamente? Sí. Um, últimamente, bueno, el, la semana pasada más que todo, en la, el martes a ¿qué? miércoles, el miércoles a viernes, uh -huh. y estuve bastante para conectarme completamente. Sí, sí, sí porque eh, con, ahora estoy notando acá que solo hemos tenido dos clases en las cuales hemos interactuado y las otras, no sé si has estado como, oh, si sí, hay dos que has estado como oyente y creo que dos no te pudiste conectar pero uh, tengo un par de consultas por ejemplo sí. tus horarios van a seguir así un poco eh, van a estar cambiando con el tema de la noche no. vas a estar un poquito ocupada no yo no ya no. sí voy a estar más presencial porque la semana no. pasada sí tuve bastantes complicaciones la okay. semana para adelante ya no Ok, perfecto. Este, Lo segundo es, um, ¿has estado trabajando con la plataforma? ¿Has estado avanzando? No. Vale. Poquito. O sea, uh -huh. quizás la primera semana. Fíjate que casualmente eh, la semana 2 es la que dura un poco más. Perdón, la unidad 2 es la que dura más. Así que tienes tiempo. Pero te recomiendo que en los ratos libres que tengas y todo eso, que puedas avanzar porque si no, se te va a acumular el trabajo, ¿verdad? Y con el trabajo acumulado, y si te exigen más de parte de, de, de tú, en la empresa donde trabajas, va a ser bastante pesado, ¿verdad? Así que eso. Otra cosa que te okay. quiero comentar es lo de la actividad de la canción. ¿Viste cuando Morelia presentó lo de su canción? Sí. Uh -huh. Entonces mañana lo va a hacer Miguel. Hola. Sí, okay. Casi no lo sí. sí, sí, se trata, déjame explico de esta manera. Déjame ver. De hecho, esta es una actividad que hace poco la he comenzado a hacer, pero sí está dando pues parte de buenos resultados. Entonces, okay. Por derechos de copyright, bueno, los derechos de autor, yo no puedo presentar música o que se cante ni nada así. Aparte que da pena un poquito, ¿verdad? La mayoría. Pero sí se puede presentar alguna canción que a nosotros nos llame la atención o que nos guste. Entonces, la actividad se llama What's the Name of the Song. Lo que tienen que hacer es seleccionar un par, así como este. Pueden ser cuatro líneas o más o menos. Y leer. Por ejemplo. I can't find this feeling any longer. And yet I'm still afraid to let it flow. What started out as friendship has grown stronger. I only wish I had the strength to let it show. No estoy cantando. Solo estoy leyendo. Cuando ya tenemos esto. Los demás participantes tienen que deducir o adivinar qué canción es, 
o a quién pertenece. Por ejemplo, la de ahora fue bastante famosa. Entonces varios dijeron, ah, la de los BGs. Y otro dijo, ah, how deep is your love? O sea que ese es el objetivo. Y después de leerla, tenemos que presentar esto. Si quieres, puedes tomarle captura a esto. ¿Verdad? Entonces, uh -huh. acá tenemos los subject pronouns. Tenemos los object pronouns, possessive adjectives o possessive pronouns. En este caso, también tenemos adjectives, adverbs, verbs. Entonces, el objetivo es que identifiques por lo menos unas siete palabras respecto a esto. Y, si te das cuenta, es como analizar una canción gramaticalmente. Porque estás diciendo cuáles son los subject pronouns, cuáles son los possessive, si hay adjective, adverbs, verbo siempre hay, y subject pronouns, ¿verdad? Entonces, Morelia lo que hizo fue, su, fue colorearlos y sacar una parte. Si tú quieres, solo los subrayas y nos va diciendo a qué, a qué categoría pertenecen esas palabras. ¿Ok? okay. Uh -huh. Entonces, mañana lo va a hacer Miguel, ¿verdad? Okay. Para que veas, cada quien lo hace de manera diferente. Y no hay una sola manera de hacerlo. Pero, este, ¿cómo se llama? Ahí te dejo ya la explicación para que tú tengas una buena noción de cómo hacerlo. ¿Ok? Ok, muchas gracias. Y, sí, y lo otro son las picking activities, ¿verdad? Que ya viste que son, son las preguntas fuera del tema, pero nos hacen participar y hablar más. Entonces... Pues eso, ya te diste cuenta cómo es mi sí. metodología, más o menos, ¿verdad? Sí, sí. Sí, pero tú puedes dar la primera clase y la primera clase, sí, me gustó bastante, pero yo después, es que esta semana estuve... Yo sé, Nancy. Sí. sí, no te preocupes. Oh, mira, mira, estamos avanzando poco a poco, Nancy. Tú no te preocupes, ¿ok? Tienes todavía tiempo para adaptarte, ¿verdad? Este, me gusta cómo has estado participando, tu inglés es bueno, solo que recuerda que necesitamos todos aprender más vocabulario, pronunciar un poquito mejor la gramática, uh -huh. pero vas bien, vas bien, entonces yo sugiero, ¿verdad? Que, que igual en la medida de lo que puedas, conéctate toda la clase, porque si te das cuenta, varios están participando, entonces lo que yo quiero es que perdamos el miedo y no, no, nos, sentamos, no nos sintamos como intimidados o como que ah, no, no hablo bien, sino que intentarlo. Lo importante es intentarlo. Y lo último, este, tal vez te podrías conseguir unos audífonos para que se, se escuche más tu voz, porque si te escuchas como a lo lejos. Uh -huh. Sí, eso ah, ayuda más. Sí, porque si te escucho como ajá, a lo lejos y eso ayuda un poquito más. ¿Verdad, Nancy? ¿Tienes una duda o pregunta? Hay preguntas. Todo claro. Todo la ok, perfecto. Nancy, si tienes alguna duda, cualquier cosa, me escribes al chat, ok. Ahí voy a estar contestando. Ahí está mi número y con gusto yo te ayudo. Ok. Excelente. Pasa feliz noche. Bye bye.